Straw from the Battle Hammer here bringing you more gaming entertainment. Allegedly. Today, I thought I'd do something a little different for you. Now, recently I've been doing lots and lots of solo stuff because, let's face it, with the pandemic and everything, solo stuff is booming. So that got me playing things like Stargrave Solo and Five Past Sex from Home. Now, things with Five Past Sex, it really got me hooked. It was a lot of fun, lots of tables to roll on, and that automatically gave you stories in your head. Now, I put a couple of those up online, and it's been well received by you lots, so thank you for that. I thought, you know what, I've got just as much fantasy stuff as I have science fiction stuff. And I suddenly wanted to have a fantasy version of it. And then someone said, oh, did you know, there's a game called Five Leagues from the Borderlands. I'm like, what's that then? It's by the same author. It's a fantasy version. Hold my beer. So, bought it, printed it all off. Someone owes me for ink. And I thought, you know what? Let's try it. So here we are, about to roll up the crew. It's very similar to Five Past Sex. The things you'll notice that are different is the hand-to-hand -hand combat. I like that idea. I don't know how it's going to flow when we play, but you'll find out more about that when we play it. Um, but everything else is, is very, very similar. Very similar. Character creation is basically the same. The rule system where you play the game is basically the same. Just a few little tweaks here and there, because obviously this is more hand-to-hand -hand orientated than lots of lots of shooty space guns. I think it's it looks really, really good. But then again, I, I, I like stuff that does this for me. So what we're going to do is roll up the gang. Now, I've got to pull these down or else I can't bleed and see. So you have four heroes and four followers. Will be so far. So there's none of this rolling for um, backgrounds and stuff because it's fantasy. There'd be just too many if you kind of think about it that way. So what we do is we have heroes, followers. We have four heroes. Uh, la, 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 la. Four heroes, four followers. They all start with the same stats, which is an agility of one, which is reactions in five past six. Speed, which is how far you move. Uh, combat skill. <laughs> and toughness. There are two other stats, just in case, and that's luck and will. Luck functions, I think, are basically the same, and will is something else entirely, which we'll talk about later. So, what we do is to generate a hero, we roll on each of the tables below. Now, is that for each? Yeah, it is. So, our first hero then, we roll a d20. So on table one, this is all agility and combat and that sort of thing, and I've got an 18. So plus one speed and agility. So I'll just note those in. On the second table, he is on a 13. Nothing. Third table, one, one gold mark. And fourth table, a nine, which is two skills. Ooh. Quick and easy. So second hero, 16 on the first table, plus one toughness. Boop, boop, boop. Next table, two, plus one will. Oh, hello, that's interesting. Third table, 12, plus four gold marks. So they're on five currently. And last one, 11, no skills. Wow. Third hero, two, plus one agility. La 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 la, 14, nout. Third table, four, two gold marks. And last table, 12, no skills. And the last hero, no, 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 19, 19, plus one combat, plus one toughness. That's nice to see. 12, nothing on table two. Table three, three, two gold marks. And the last table, four, one skill. So 
So that's the stats for the heroes. For each skill, we then roll on the skill tables. So one of them's got two skills. His first skill is two. Medicine, hello. That's Andy Arry, stick it in the oven. And his second skill is five, which is also medicine. No, roll like it. Nine. Library. That's interesting. So medicine and library. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's beginning to make stories in the head. And the other one who's got one skill, 12. Is it meant to be a D100, you bell end? Uh, 86. Scranging. <laughs> I'm going to keep those two roles for the library and medicine, though, because that's quite a nice little combination. So he's got scrounging, which means when looting, roll a D6. Oh, for an extra loot roll. That's always good, isn't it? Excuse me. Nice. So, then you get to select the weapons. So two of your heroes may be given a quality weapon of your choice. So, um, let's give one there and one there. I'll decide on the weapons when I go get me figures. Any additional heroes may be given a basic weapon do, 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 basic, basic, basic. No more than two heroes can have a missile weapon. So one of those quality weapons I can make into a missile weapon. So who's got a good combat skill? He has, he's got scrounging and quality. We're gonna give him a bow. So that becomes a long bow, I believe. Um, you may outfit one hero in full armor. Ooh. La 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 la. So let's make it there. Uh, and one hero impartial. <laughs> Partial armor. Okay. Any other remaining heroes maybe could make start the campaign with no armor or light armor of your choice. In that case, I'm going to give. My scrounger, light armor, and the guy, the one that does the medicine and the library, no armor. Yeah, but you could give them all armor, blah blah blah. But why would I want it? That doesn't make much of my story. Or they're all fully armored and stomping about. Nope. Hero generation table may offer you additional weapons. Blah 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 blah. Well, that's the hero's dump. Yep. So, quick, quick and easy. So then, moving on, we have our followers. Blah, blah, blah. Generic soldiers, mercenary scoundrels, followers, basic profile, do not gain with any improvements. One of your initial band of followers may be slightly more talented. You roll on this skill table to see what they've got. D100. 95. He's a roving wanderer. He's a roving wanderer. What does that do? No idea. I'll have to go find that out. Do, 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 do. It is possible for a follower to eventually become a fully fledged hero, although most will simply die along the way. Ah, oh, wow. Don't get, don't get too attached to your followers then. That sounds familiar. Right, one of your followers may give, be given a self bow and a light weapon. So, we'll do that for the roving wanderer. The rest will have standard weapon or light weapons. So just a basic weapon. Blah, blah, blah. One of your followers may wear light armor. La, la, la. Wash that down on the old roving wanderer again. And the rest will have either militia armor or no armor. Militia armor. 
that will give us rolls for when we try to hurt people. La 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 la. Now, unfortunately, the figures I've really worked out for this, one of my, um, two of my followers have got bows. So I'll have to, um, I'll have to nominate one of them as actually having a bow and the other, it's a stick for now. And then resources, roll d6. So I've got one extra mark, so that's 10 gold marks. Finishing touches, select one figure to be your avatar, which is basically me on the table. Uh, it's going to be... Doop, 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 doop. We're going to go for the one that's got medicine and library. Uh, we have two doses of medical herbs. Bosch. And that is it. Oh, the avatar gets one will and one luck. I'll do 60 story points. Six! And then decide on the level. We're going to do it at the basic level. Unusual backgrounds, that is for NPCs and players when they join you. That's that. Story points. Every time you clear a village of a threat, etc. etc. So that's the characters done. So all I've got to do is name them, think of a bit of a backstory for them, which is, when you see my figures, you'll know what my kind of story is going to be. So what I've got to do now is we start the campaign. It's literally as quick as that. So again, it's similar to Five Past Sex, where you have some stuff to do before you get to your tabletop battle. So, first of all, we have to decide what sort of region we're going to be playing in. So there's Hinterlands, which is the backwater where the strong arm of the kingdom tends not to show itself. There's the Borderlands, the edge of civilization, often lawless and chaotic. Or the Wilderness, beyond the borders where outposts and colonies eke out an existence. Now, which do we kind of fancy? Mm -hmm. Let's go for... The wilderness. So region type wilderness. Now that makes a difference to what's coming up next. So what we've got to do is establish villages. So we want to see how many villages we've got. We've got a two, which is two villages. So we'll have two villages. I'll sort out the names of them before we start. Um, so it's not necessarily a village. It could be a monastery, a noble house, cottage, that sort of thing, but they are like points of note. So then each of these villages has threats, threat levels. Now there's three points of threat. There's outlaw, border tension and dark secrets. Now what we do is we roll a dice and determine what that number is. Now our aim of the campaign is to get each of those threat levels down to zero. So everyone is happy. It's all joyous and peaceful and everyone's bouncing about with buttercups. So we are in the wilderness. So point of outlaws is D3 plus three. So that's gonna be four. It's not four actual outlaws, Bill, Bob, Johnny and Freddo. It's not, it's four points worth of outlaw bands doing their outlawry thing. Border tension is 2D3. So that's a two and a three, so that's five. Border tension, ooh, that one's obviously near the border. And dark secrets two so you know a lot of tension there a lot of uh, threat there from the border so i'll work out what my border of evilness is going to be at, at some point and then the second village will be exactly the same it will be a uh that's two that's five for outlaws ooh -hoo. oh oh jesus six for border tension and two, three for Dark Secrets. I have got my work cut out here, haven't I? That six is a high bugger. That one's gonna have to get knocked down. And just so I know, all of those except for that two are important for everything else. 
So, when you're starting a new campaign, man, no, 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 that's three. If you want to keep old characters, well, I haven't got any yet. So then we go to the campaign turn. It's incredibly warm again. Ooh. So, at the start of the turn, right, where do we start with? We start with village events, optional. Piss off, there's no such thing as optional in my book. Village events, where are they? I like rolling on village events if I can find them. And we apply the results immediately. That means right now. <laughs> so, village events. 51. Wandering card player. If you gamble this turn, increase any win or loss by plus one. Uh -huh. Now, as five past six, you get different things you can do. So we have to start with by paying upkeep. If we've got more than eight members, we have to pay extra money. Fortunately, we do not have to. Um, restock ammunition, we don't have to do that either because we haven't actually done anything yet. Uh, challenge level upkeep, we haven't got to worry about that because we're playing at normal level. Healing up, I haven't got to worry about that. Follower retirement, I haven't got to worry about that. Carry out activities. So each campaign turn, the party can take two actions whilst in town. If any party member has the organisational skill, you can take an extra one. Well, we haven't, so we can take two things. We can either visit a town healer, forage for herbs, labour, I'm not giving birth, study, gamble, track, carouse, interact, train, armourer, as if you've got damaged weapons, weapon crafter, visit the priest. So they're all the different bits that we can do. Ooh, now we only just got here, so I think what we're going to do, we are going to track. Let's go scout the area, see if we can find any sign of our enemies. Roll a d6. I've rolled a 4. On 5 plus you've managed to locate signs of enemy. No, we have not. So tracking, done. The boys come back. We have found nothing, boss. And then I'm going to... <laughs> Let's go forage for herbs. So it's 3d6. For every 6 we find a hope of that. So no, no, yes, I found one dose of healing herbs. Three lots of healing herbs. That's all I can do in the town for now. Right, decide where you're headed this turn. You may head to a different village in the region or you may go adventuring. Most campaign turns you'll be adventuring trying to rid the area of evils. If the present village has all of its threats neutralised, you cannot adventure here. If you cleared out the entire area, blah, 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 blah. Or we can stay in town a bit longer to go through the town sequence again, but this costs you D6 gold marks in lodgings. Sell unwanted gear trading. So, we are at this second village. That's going to be our location to start with, because that's pretty fucking high with the old board ascensions. So what we're going to do... Uh, Pike may bring six uh, six items in your backpack. La 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 la. So in my case, it's only going to be my herbs because that's all I've got. Right. So there's contracts you can pick up in town as well, but at the moment we're not interested in those. We just want to try and stop bringing this thing down a bit. So you experience encounters under the following typical circumstances. So whilst travelling to another village whilst travelling to another region, whilst adventuring, or while carrying out a contract. Now, we're not travelling to another village, we're not travelling to another region, but we are adventuring because that's what you do if you're not doing a specific mission thing. So, consult the appropriate section below. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, if you have a road map, you can re-roll, blah, blah, blah. So, we are adventuring, so we look on this table. We've got D100. 55. It's a combat encounter. So 
So now there are expansions out for this. Uh, I've picked up a couple. I've picked up the fishing. Why you say? Why not? It means my character can go fishing if he wants to. Um, there's a roads encounter supplement, and I've also bought the uh, there's a military one where you can go off and do military missions. I'll bring those all into play a bit later. So it's a combat encounter. La 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 la. Resolve the. Where's the combat? Where is it? Hello. Combat encounter. Here we go. So. Someone blah 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 wants to fight. Yes, we know. So. Oh, I like this. You roll d6. On a 5-6, you select which of the threats, available threats you want to fight. On a 3-4, you face the highest threat. Um, on a 1-2, to two, it's random. So I've done a 5, which is I select one of the threats. So... Mm -mm 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 -mm. La 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 la. Uh, which the threats you fight? Uh -huh. So I am going to go with. We're going to start with the ten, uh, the border tension because it's six. And that's that's pretty high. So border tension. I can either fight raiders, nomads, barbarians, torn flags, which are mercenaries. Military patrol, the untamed, skirmishers, militia, or fang tribe. Right, I'm reckoning we're going to go for... Barbarians, bar, bar. Barbarians, barbarians, bar, bar. Barbarians. So we're on like, barbarian border, I like that. Do, 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 do. Right. So we then roll to encounter to decide on the situation for the encounter. I don't have pathfinding. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Sixteen is attacked by the enemy. Boo! So they're finding us. Enemy tables. What's this? Information we need to set up. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. We're not storming the camps. We're not doing anything like that. So it's all normal. We're not doing a camp or lair. Enemy leadership. Right, they're attacking us. One. No leadership presence, that's good. Uh, 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 uh. If no leadership is present, roll a d6. Two, no personality. So then we just need to find them. What have we got, barbarians? So how many of them are attacking us? Do, 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 do. Now is blah blah blah. Now I'm pretty sure I read somewhere, which I can't find now, which is always the way, how many of them there is. Now if I rec there, there it is, it's 2d6, pick the highest score. So, a four and a six. Great. So I get the six. Six barbarians. Oh, bleak God, don't tell me that's true. If that is, there'll be nine of them. So nine barbarians, uncivilized. So say war bands that occasionally raid the border regions. First casualty suffers. Suffer does not tr trigger a morale check. 
So they are on number of plus three, speed of five, combat of plus one, toughness of four, armor of one. Okay, nine of them. Eek. And then we just go to, we can try to bribe them. Uh, and then it's deploying. So we roll 2d6 plus 6 to determine how far apart. But on this table it's 3d6. And that was yeah, 14, 15 inches apart. And they will be set up in roughly two equal sized groups. Okay. All right, so my stick is up how I, how I see fits. And then this just trying to seize the initiative. Roll 2d6. Add one if anyone's got tactics. No. Two, five, seven. If you're being attacked, modify by minus two. So that's five. If it says nine or more, you take them by surprise. Nope. Crack on with the battle, it says. If you want more variation to the bad guys you're facing, then you may opt for variations. Select one enemy non-archer figure and roll on the enemy floor table, then a second enemy and roll on the enemy strength. Must all be normal opponents, not leaders or personalities. I like that, so we're going to do that. So one, floor strength. So for the floor, it's three, rear guard. Okay, that's got some rules for him, I'll use them in the game. And one that's got strength is one, heavy hitter. Plus one against armor and toughness. Ooh, that's not nice. Um, See, there's also, if you get any of these threats, uh, if any of these threats started above three, and you get them down to a one, instead of rolling for the battles, you do a, a last stand, which is like your final push to try and beat them. Well, we're not doing that, so. <sighs> then there's encounter terrain you can roll on, and battlefield objectives. Do, 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 do. They're used while traveling, not when you're attacked or being attacked, so that's okay. Oddities, no, we don't need to do oddities just yet. Let's try and get used to the basic rules. And that is then that. That then goes on to Aftermath. So, we've got our crew. We've got determined who the enemy is. It's just a straightforward scrap. We need to try and kill them, drive them off. We need to hold the field, basically. So I'm going to go sort some figures out for that and name them, get the bad guys, feed the dogs, and then I'll be back to film the next bit. So join me then. So here is our little setup. We've got the old, old shrine there. And here is our first little group of heroes. So actually, no, they're not all heroes. He's a hero. That's the main chap. That's the me. That's Sebastian Voss, and he's got a quality bastard sword. He hasn't got pistols yet. Then we've got the two twins. We've got Yvette in full armour and Yanni in partial armour. <coughs> Shut up, you! And that is <coughs> Dedrick, their little helper there. Then swinging through to here, we have our other <coughs> hero. Shut up! That is Hostman. He's got light armor and a crossbow. And then these three are old Clem, who's actually got a bow. He hasn't got the bow, ignore that. He has got the bow. The bloke with the long coat has got a bow. And Janek with the sword and Dolph with the hammer. It's just a normal hammer, it's not a war hammer or anything special like that. Bad guys, however, there's a group of them there. Barbarians, bar bar. Barbarians. Now the big chap in the middle there with the big sword, he's their heavy hitter. Swinging over here, there's another group of four there. And 
hidden back here in his rear guard with a standard, which I thought was quite appropriate. So that, it, whoops, swing it back past the camera and light rigs. So that's what we've got. Our heroes are there and there in two clusters. I've just knocked the roof off. And then, as I said, we've got a group here of barbarians. Oh, Try to burn the place. Group here and the standard bearer of rear guard here. He will stay here. Um, what he will do is if anyone comes within nine inches, he will then move to attack them. If he is shot with a missile weapon, then he will act as a normal trooper and go sprinting forward or whatever. Otherwise, he will stay there. He will move and then retreat. If he moves out, kill someone, he then retreats to that spot because he's rear guard. So that is it. The little shrine in the woods. Whoops. Quite know what I just knocked off there. Hey. <laughs> so let's go play the game. Right, so we've got the village of Ofton and the village of Rakvar. Now we are dealing with the problems at the village of Rakvar today. Obviously I want to try and get that tension on the borderlands down because it's a good old six. Now unfortunately that means having to do lots of battles to try and get that number down to a good nice zero. So my crew are all set up. Uh, you can see them here, here. Bad guys are over there, there and there. So we begin with doing the uh, action roll. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the same as in five past six, like a reaction roll. So I'm rolling and then, oh, that is a lot of high numbers. You can tell this bugged me up already. So have I got any of the agility of two? So I've got two twos. So who has got an agility of two? We have uh, Yanni and Sebastian. So that will be these two going in the fast turn for the fast phase, and the others will be going in the slow. Right then, speaking of fast phase, or the action phase, should I say. Action! Quick actions, that's the word I was looking for. So I will start with me, shmi. Right then. So I can see the bad guys there, and there's a load of bad guys over there. Now, none of these two have missile weapons. If I have missile weapons and I want to use them, um, it's up to half of my move. If I want to use my crossbow, however, it's no moving. So, this little group here, um, uh, there they are! Uh, bugger! Get them! Uh, minions! So Sebastian is on a speed of five. He's going to dash, so I'll make it uh, a seven. And he's like, oh, nope! So he will be able to move to there because he's not taking a combat action. And that is him. Da -da -da done. Then we have Yanni and she's just got a basic weapon and armor so she's got a move of four so she will be running six and she is running to there to back him up what are we doing oh, i don't know kill them all Blah. so then it goes to the bad guys because they go in the normal movement normal uh, action phase now, any enemy equipped with foot melee only, which all of these are, fortunately, um, will advance on the nearest opponents to them, attempting to take advantage of cover as they do so. Uh, they will try to close the distance by at least half of their base speed each turn. If remaining in cover from the missile weapons will prevent them from doing this, then they will move at full pace. So, they are on a move of five. Five. Oh, kill them all! Blood! Smash their faces in! Blood. So, he'll come running into there. Big hitter will go it out. He will go it out. And this chap will stomp over that corpse to there. And then Rind to this group. I'll just slide these across here. They're ready for my photos anyway. He Obviously they're raiding. 
So, oh. Now, I don't know if the bad guys dash. They probably could, I don't know. I'm sure that's in the rules somewhere, whether they can dash or not. I will have a very, very quick look to see if they do or not. And if I can't, no, if I don't want to notice it, I won't worry about it for now. Dash. Enemies will only dash uh, to reach cover or if advancing directly on a visible enemy. Ah. So those ones would dash. That'd be another two inches for them then. Uh-oh. So. Rah. 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 And. Rah. So, we've moved to there. Now it's the slow phase. So it's everyone else in my in my gang, in my gang, my gang, if they are in my gang, oh yeah. So let's go with Yavet. So she's in full armour. Now I believe if you're in certain armour you can't um, sprinty winty and dash like that. I'll just check that as well. Uh, partial armour, blah blah blah. I think something full armour. Do, 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 do. Militia armour gives you bonuses. Yeah, character in full armour cannot dash. So Yvette is in full armour, so she can only move her four. Uh, come in, you barbarian scum! I will kill you all! So she'll move to there. Yeah, he's in military mili militia armor, so he can dash an extra inch. So that means his move will go to four, six, seven. I'm with you. So there. Now, if I don't move, I can shoot with my crossbow. I'm going to chuck a grenade. Oh, I haven't because I haven't got a grenade. Right. The range is 18 of your earth inches. Now, there's a bugger come around the corner there. That's 14 away. And there's a bugger there that's also 14 away. I think Hostman is... He's going to take a shot. Clack, clack, boom at that bloke there. So, hitting, ranged attack. It's not within six inches in the open. Open at range. He's also in cover. So it's six plus. I'm adding my combat skill, which is a big fat one. Plus one is nothing. Now, normally I would run out of ammo on the one, but fortunately it's his first shot of the game, so he is okay. So clack, clack, thunk, missed. And then the others are going to have to move, and they are all just going to move this way. Come on, lads! Right, oh! Sure, this is a good idea following these guys. I'm sure it is. Oh, hello. They look a bit big and bulky compared to us. You don't worry about that. We'll have them all. So already the sides are closing in. And that is already looking pretty grim. Yikes. So that's turn one. Not that it really matters in this because there's no um, random event tables in the battle, which I kind of like sometimes. Might have to put them in because there's some in. Is it in pass? Is it in five past six? I'm sure there is. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I don't know. Playing so many games at the moment. Anywho, that's turn one. We are at the um, morale phase, but there are no casualties. There's no fighting as such, so it goes straight to turn two. So again, eight dice. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need some low ones this time. Hello, that's better. Three sixes. Six, 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 the number of the beast. So I've got two. So she can have that. Then she can have that one. And then he can have that one. And then all the others will be going in the slow phase. La 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 slow phase. La 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 slow phase. Shut up. Okay. Now, let me just check. La, moving in, moving in, move, 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 move. If a figure moves with one instead of an opposing figure, they engage in melee and it's sorted out immediately. Ooh, have it. Have it, have it, have it. La 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 la. La 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 la. Just get to the combat page. Because, funnily enough, I might need it. So, now, unfortunately, she can only move slowly but she's gonna go that way to there try and draw that one in um, then Yanni in her partial plate partial armor sorry partial 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 armor in two none of the modifiers She's got a move of five. She can't quite get close enough either. Uh, plus it'll be four because she'll be going over, over the fence. Ugh. So she's just going to move to there. And then Sebastian Voss is going to move his five which will take him to there which means these two will be in combat so we do the fight now how does the fight work you ask well i can't bloody remember right so combat it's a series of exchanges it's not just one quick hit to decide it oh no 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 it's done in three uh, exchanges So, I am the attacker because I've engaged the fight. Uh, there's no uh, character receiving an attack on the higher ground or something. Roll d6 on a 4 plus. Uh, oh, so because the fence there, I just have to see if, no, to see if he becomes the attacker. He's not. I'm the attacker. So. I roll a d6 and add my uh, combat skill. My combat skill is zero. So I've rolled a two. He is on a plus one. So four, five. So if the attacker has a higher score, no, no, no. If the defender has the highest score, they avoid harm and become the attacker in the following exchange. So that's one exchange. So clang, 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 clang. Then we do it again. So, d6 for me, I've rolled a 6, he rolls a 1, plus 1 for his skill is 2, so I was the defender, if the defender has a high score, they avoid harm and become the attacker in the following exchange, so they're both, ah, clang clang, clang clang, and this is the final exchange, oh, I've rolled a 1, he's rolled a 3, so he has higher, uh, and that, Again, clang, 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 and we part. That is that. Like, oh, clang, clang, whoa, clang, clang, clang. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Yes. If the Rolex sees the... And then it's making the armour and everything. Well, that doesn't matter. So, that's us done. So now it's the bad guys. And now it's going to get messy. So, he 
we'll move in to attack me. He's the attacker. So, he's rolled a 1 plus 1 is 2. I've rolled a 5. So, I've won. I receive no damage. I become the attacker in this exchange. I've rolled a 1 plus 1 is 2. He's rolled a 4. Plus 1 is 5. So, he has hit me. He has hit me. Uh-oh. Now, hit. Just checking the, yep, so. Uh, roll d6 and add plus if using a warhammer. Well, he's not using a warhammer. He, what's my armor, armor. Oh, he hasn't got any armor. Oh, oh no. Um, um. If the roll exceeds the armor, well, I haven't got any, then it's causing harm. I haven't got a shield, so I can't parry. Uh, uh, ending um, Okay, so roll two damage. All right, roll d6 and compare it to toughness of the character. My toughness is three. He's rolled a two. So that is less. Right, right, roll d6 compared to the toughness, uh, blah, blah, blah. If the result is lower, the character is stunned if in melee. So I'm like... And stunned. What does stunned do? They will relinquish initiative if they had it and enter the next exchange as the defender. Is that all? If the character must engage, if the character must engage in an exchange while stunned, they roll two dice, picking the lower. Ooh. So bad guys, this is the third part of the exchange. Rolls a three becomes four, and I roll a five. So I've managed to. Ching, 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 ching. Avoid it. And I believe. Yep. We then split again. Does the stun go? Some characters recover after one exchange or at the end of the melee. So, got a bit of a bat to the head, but managed to, like, oh, oh, it's all right, I'm sorting myself out. So, then that's that exchange. This chap will move into here and, oh, not that tree over, and fight Yvette. So, he's the attacker. He has rolled a six plus one is seven. She is on nothing. So he's hit her. She, we've got to roll for her armour. Now, is it over or under? My armour. If the roll exceeds. So it's rolled a six, so it's gone through her armour. Do, 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 do. If the attacker... Mm -mm -mm. Um, so roll for the damage. Now she's on a toughness of four. Rolled a two. So she is only stunned. Wicka, 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 wicka. Which means he's now the attacker again. He's rolled a four, becomes five. She has rolled a five. What happens on a draw? On a draw, on a draw. Now I've seen it somewhere. 
On a draw, the defender retreats backwards one inch while the attacker remains in place and ends the melee. So, ugh. that one's done. Then, oh, big hitter chappy comes running in. So he's the attacker now against Yarni. Yarni is a no modifiers. So he rolls a five, she rolls a three. So she has been hit. Rolling for her armor. She has got partial armor. He's rolled a two, but because he's a heavy hitter, he gets a plus one. So that's three. So that has gone through her armor. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm -mm. Through the armour. Rolled the d6 compared to the toughness. Rolled a 1. He gets a plus 1. Because of the heavy hitting seals that puts him on 2. That's still not as lower. So she is stunned. But that is all. Whip, 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 whip. Second and next action. La, 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 la. Ah, quick. Use an extra d6. There we go. So you can't see them, but this, this, I know they're both orange, but one's an official battle hammer dice and the other one isn't. So the other isn't one, it's for the bad guy. So he's rolled two, which becomes three. I've rolled five. So I've hit, so I've won. So the stun goes and I am now the attacker for this last exchange. And I've rolled a four, he's rolled a four plus one. So he has managed to defend and that fight ends. Oh, I like this. I like this for some weird reason. And then he comes bundling into there. Multiple opponents. Uh, so she will suffer a minus one. I'm going to put him into base to base so I know they're fighting. So he's rolled a five, so he'll be on six. She is on three. So he has hit her. Roll for the armor. Three is equal to the character is wounded. Wounded and stunned. Oh! Now, what does that mean, you ask? Don't know. Wounded. Wounded character is bleeding, clutching a limb, or trying to stagger on through the pain. Place a small token. A wounded character moves and fights normally, but when struck in combat, any harm roll is made a plus one modifier. If a wounded character would sustain another wound, they become a casualty, unless they spend a will point. Oh, so she is not looking good. Um, does that, is that, does it carry on? Yeah, I presume so. I presume the fight carries on. So the second action, or the second engagement, sorry. Ah, I've rolled a six, he's rolled a five, which puts him onto six. That's equal, that's a draw. And on a draw, the defender retreats one inch and the attacker remains in place. Oh, oh. Done. That is combat. Well, for them anyway. Oh, oh, eek. Hell's teeth, where's my leg? I like that because it's not just a, a one quick roll combat over. You actually feel like it's, oh, eek, cut and thrust of the battle. I like that. So then over to this lot. And they will dash because they can see an enemy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here they come, walking down the street, get the craziest looks from everyone we meet. Yay, hey, we're barbarians, and we never stop barbarian around. Same thing, barbarian, but no, stop it. Right, so now it's my slow actions. So, Dedrick, I will save you. He will charge into there. And have a go at that barbarian. 
You want to kill me, little man? I think... Okay. I think not. Oh, God damn, it's warm. Right. So he's got no bonuses. And he's rolled a six. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so the other guy gets a two. So I have hit by the power of Skull. Just need to check if the barbarians had any armor, because I can't remember. Do 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 do. Stab him in the face! Stab him in the face! Barbarian armor of one. One? So the barbarian rolls a one, he's okay. He has not! So I rolled d6 and compare it to his toughness. I've rolled a six. His toughness is four. So six against four is higher. The character becomes a casualty and is removed from the battlefield. Oh, he stabbed me in my face. Get down, Shep. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Ugh. I'll leave him there for a minute. Because there's the morale thing. So now it's back to these guys. So. Hmm. Okay. So if we just spin him on the spot. He is going to fire his crossbow at this chap. So I'm looking at fives to hit. I have a plus one. I've rolled a five. Plus one is a six. Get in there. So that will hit. La 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 la. Uh, oh, if the shoot, shoot, shoot stationary roll, um, add combat skill. Yes, right. Do 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 do. Any hit must bypass the armor. Roll d6, add plus one if using a crossbow or pistol. One, but one fails automatically anyway, so <laughs> hits him, doesn't hurt. And then the others. <clears throat> He'll move to there. Roll d6 because that barbarian's on that side of the fence. It's a four. Does he become the attacker? Four plus it does. So, um, Dodf has gone running in, but the Barbarian was already ready for him by that fence, and the Barbarian becomes the attacker. The Barbarian's rolled a two, with his plus one becomes three. I've rolled a one. So he strikes a blow and remains as the attacker. Rolls again. Oh, I need to check whether they got any armor. I can't remember if they got armor or not. <gasps> I think they got some. Uh, skills, characters, heroes. Um, bear with, bear with. Followers. The rest will wear militia armor or no armor. Yeah, militia armor. That's right. Uh, which is one point. One point. And he's rolled a six, so he's completely gone through the armour. Then rolls against my toughness. He's rolled a six. Bosh. Oh, bloody hell, bugger. <laughs> In other words, he has just gone down to Chinatown. Die, little man. Uh, then... Mm -mm. Got my bowman there. He's going to take a shot. He's not moving. He's like, oh shit. So he's not moving. I will no modifiers. Four. Four. I needed. 
the do 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 within ranging in the open. Yo, I needed a six, so nope. And then this chap will move. It's only four, isn't it? We'll move to there. Hold the line! Hold the line! And we'll move to there. And that is that done. And that is the end of that turn. So normally we do a morale check, but the barbarians ignore the first one. So that death, even though he is dead and out of it, makes no difference to the morale. The rest of them are just going to carry on fighting. Now I'm just going to have to grab a can of pop because I am sweating like a kid in a sweet shop. Whew. Right. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice. We want lots of no, no, no seven dice. Sorry, because he uh, is deed. Oh, stop knocking that bloody tree over. Oh, I mean dice and everything. Ah, it's all gone wrong. Oh, Titville. I've only got one. One that's going to allow us to act, so it's going to be. Um, mm, it's going to be the boss. Everyone else will go in the slow phase. So, boss. And he will. Oh, come on then, you barbarian bastard! Moves into the fight, so I'm the attacker. Uh, the barbarian has won that. that Part of the exchange, so he becomes the attacker. Next part of the exchange, he's hit me. I have no armor. Roll against my toughness. He's rolled a three. My toughness is three. Oh. So that's equal. I'm wounded and stunned. Bleep bloop. Ouch, you. Bastard! And then the third exchange. I used the. I rolled two dice and I what? Two dice. Two do two dice. Pick the lower. Ah, oh, damn it! I had a six. So he's hit me again. Again, no armor. Two. It's lower than my woo, my um thing this time. So I am stunned. It's the end of the combat. I go back an inch, and that stunned goes, but the wound stays. That was not effective. I cannot harm him! Ugh. So, it's now uh, the bad guys go. So he will move into her and they will fight. So he's the attacker. He's rolled a four, she's rolled a one. He has hit. She has got partial armour on. He's rolled a two. But he gets a plus one because he's a heavy hitter, so he's gone through her armour. Now he rolls against her toughness. He's rolled a five, which becomes a six. That puts her down. Oh, nuts. Whole hazelnuts. Ooh. Cabris take them and they cover them in chocolate. Ah, oh, hell, she's gone down. Oh, this is not looking good. And that's the end of that fight for them. He will go to the closest, which is him. So he's the attacker. He's rolled a six, I've rolled a three. He's hit me, I've got militia armor, which he's gone through. 
He's only rolled a two, so I am only stunned. Next engagement, he is still the attacker. He's hit again. Armour. He's gone through my armour. And... Uh, that's equal. So I'm stunned and wounded. And the third. Oh no, I rolled two dice and choose the lowest. I've actually won. So I've managed to fight him back off and lose my stun, but I'm still wounded. Ooh. Right, then it's back to this lot. He will move into there. And attempt to batter him. So he's the attacker. He's rolled a three plus minus four, but I've rolled a six, so I'm now the attacker. I've rolled a five against his two, so I've hit him. He's got armor of one. Oh, bloody armor! But I'm still the attacker. And the last exchange. Oh, we've both rolled a six. So it puts him on seven, so he wins. So he then becomes the attacker, but that's that fight over. Then, yeah, then he is going to shoot him. I'm not moving, so I could add my combat bonus, but I have a combat bonus of zero. And I've missed, thunk, as the arrow goes zooming off into space. And then Hostman, Hostman will take a shot. Within six, I'm not moving, so I'm adding plus one. Oh, one, guess who's run out of ammo? Yes, it's me, Smee, ah, oh. tits, actually, these guys should have gone. Yeah, let's try to remember the bad guys, eh? So I've just got the slow ones over here because I've done all of those. So, Yannette, Yavette will move in. So she's the attacker currently. Uh, not anymore. He is now the attacker. Oh, no, she's now the attacker. Oh, and he's hit her. Roll for her armour. He's gone through her armour. Uh-oh. And it's a one, so that would, it would stun her. But it's the end of the combat, so it pushes her back as well. And then it's that little chap there. He's going to have to hit the heavy hitter. So I'm the attacker. I've rolled a five. He's rolled a four plus one is five. So that's a draw. And on draws. Draws we both. Both, both, both. Defender retreats one. And the combat ends. So that is turn two done. And I'm currently two people down. Mmm. I'm two people down and my crossbow is out of ammo. Oh, hell's teeth. Mmm. 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 I tell you what, I like it. I like that combat. I thought when I first read it, that's going to really bog things down. Haven't they rolled that many times? Nope, it does not. So, one, two, three, four, five, six dice for my uh, agility 
phase, reaction phase, whatever you want to call it. Come on. Two ones. I've got a three, but that's no good to me. So it's two ones. So I'm thinking Yvette and Sebastian. Everyone else will be on the slow phase. So she will attack him. Come on. Roll a hit. Uh, he's beaten her, so he now becomes the attacker. He hits her. He has hit her indeed. Roll for her armor. Yeah, ching! Armor protects. If the armor protects, does he carry on being the? Yeah, it's just the armor. So he's still the attacks, and he's hit her again. Armor, clang, beautiful, and she'll pull back an inch. Ah. Oh. Although technically, if you don't go in base to base, because you only have to go into an inch, if you pull back, that doesn't really matter. And then him. Oh, come on, you brute. Three against five. So it beats me. It becomes the attacker. It's hit me. I have no armor. Roll for my toughness. Six. <laughs> Bloody hellfire! Where's my leg? Down. Oh dear. Whack, whack, oops. Kill them all! Blah. <sighs> Come away. Now, it's the bad guys. So he will charge into your Yvette. Shut up. He's hit her. Roll for her armor. He's gone through the armor again. Roll to wound her. A three, which is below her toughness. So she is stunned. Shut up. His next attack. He's hit her again. Roll for her armor. Gone through the armor again, roll a wound, puts her down. Oh, 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 yeah. Ugh. Oh, this is tough now. Then, big hitter will move into there. Oh. He's hit straight away. Roll for the armor. He's got a two plus one, three goes through the armor. And then four plus one is five against the toughness. <laughs> Puts him down. Wah, 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 wah. Guys, it's looking grim. He will move into there. So he's the attacker. I've rolled a four. I've beaten him, so I've become the attacker. I've rolled a six. He rolls a six plus one is seven. He becomes the attacker. He's rolled a six. I've rolled a five. He's hit me. Roll for my armor. Two. My armor is only a one. He's gone through the armor. Six. Oof. Oh, yuck. Oh, down I go. Then he will move into there and attack him. Oh, he's rolled a six straight off, hit me. I've only got light armor. He's gone through that. And he's rolled a six. 
Oh my golly gosh, the Barbarians are having a field day this turn. As he's gone down. Uh, I don't think the others can reach me. That leaves me. Um, 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 eat me crispy doesn't work. Um, zip, um, oh no. Say like one thing I can do. Nope. Run away, run away, run away. And he will escape off the table. And that is that. Oh, that was pretty painful oh so the barbarians have held the, the held the field um all my lot except for hostman are down and injured so now i'm going to pause and just move everything to get ready to do the end of game sequence so um come and join me and see how badly we've done <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was carnage, wasn't it? So, let's see what the aftermath uh, tables do. <laughs> wow. Oh, we don't like it very much. Let's just turn that camera a bit more. Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely grim. It, it gives me that whole... Um, Warhammer, old world, proper, gritty stuff, which is what I've wanted for fantasy for so long. And I love that little combat mechanic. Oh, I mean, oh, it was oh, semi-erect. Right then, so, uh, the aftermath. During this phase, we'll check for injuries and post-battle effects, collect experience points and roll for loot. And finally, adjust the threat levels. Experience and loot have their own chaps in the rules. So, check for injuries. Any hero or follower that was removed from play as a casualty must roll D100 on the table below. If there is a double, 22, 33, etc., a helmet wearing character avoids harm, but the helmet is damaged. Ooh. Uh, recovery times the number of campaign turns the character has to miss. Oop. Now, I've got medicine. That he was taken out, so ah, <laughs> right then, D100. <sighs> right, I suppose we better do the followers first. So let's go for Dolph 44, moderate wound. And he is out for. Do, 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 D6. He's out for four rounds. Um, next, Yannick. 95. He was just knocked out. So he's okay for the next one. Dedrick. 35 dead. Oh no, no. I'm going to need to try and get hold of some more of these old, these old um, Games Workshop mercenary figures. That's going to be a job in its bloody self. And old Clem. 33. Old Clem has died. Oh, heck. Wow. Too dead. Heroes. Okay, let's start with Sebastian. Sebastian Voss. 83. Knocked out. Yes. So that's good. Now I'm just going to check on... 
medicine. When was it in town healer roll? Five plus to reduce healing time by one. There. Okay, so Yanni. 77. Knocked out. And then Yvette, her twin sister. 67. Light wound. And she's out for D... D3. She's out for th oh, fucking still three turns, though. So... She'll be out for the next one. You'll be okay. You two will have recovered. Uh, so, oh, wow. Four people. Hmm. Hangers on don't roll for injuries. If they're attacking during the battle, blah, 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 blah. Then you've been attacking the further part. The exception is if they manage to slay an opponent in the battle. If so, they may roll on the follower injury instead. Hmm, nice. Characters with endurance skill. I have no one with an endurance skill. I have characters, no characters that are lucky. La 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 la. Ooh. If you fail to avoid an injury, you can use a dose of medical herbs to re-roll, but you must obey the new result. Even if it's worse. So I've got three herbs. And I've got... Uh, mm, what was the Yvette? Yvette, Yvette. I don't think it's going to get any much better for her. I think I'm going to just leave it as it is. I might roll one. I'm going to take one off. Just to re-roll for old Clem. Do, 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 do. 60 for old Clem. Light wound. And he's out for one round. Quick, stick this on him, he'll be alright. Okay. Okay. That's alright. An injury roll that ends in a zero or a five results in a character suffering equipment damage. Oh, I should have seen that bit before then. I won't worry about it for now. I'll obviously worry about it next time because I'll remember it. If you held the field <laughs> and have a leave, you receive loot rolls. Yeah. If you were attacked, no. Travelling counter, if you're raided, blah blah. You may take loot even if it would exceed your backpack limit. If you were attacked, it's unlikely that the bad guys would have brought much value. Roll once on the loot table. Oh, that's okay. I don't get any unusual finds because I didn't hold the field. Doo -doo -doo. If you did a battle... If you did a battle against a threat and held the field at the end, reduce threat by one. If there's a reduced threat to zero, it's been eliminated, the village is now free, blah, blah, blah. If you don't hold the field, the threat remains the same, even if you complete an objective. Note that contract jobs do not reduce the threat. If you did not hold the field, but managed to either kill a captain or personality, or kill five or more opponents, you may roll d6. You can still re re attempt a thingy. See, I, I wonder if, there, if there's anything that makes the threat level go up as well. That'll be interesting. Uh, return home. The party returns to the nearest village to rest up. If you finish contract job, you re receive your reward now. End the campaign turn. Proceed the next one. Yay! Well, that was awful. Experience points. After each encounter, each hero earns experience points as follows. Survive the encounter. Worded to all participants. Is that even if you got like taken out? Mm. So they're all going to get one EP.
Do 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 do. Do do do. So survive the encounter, hold the field objective, enemy leader slain, monster undead slain. Pfft, that's it. La la la. Each follower who remains on the table at the end of the battle. Uh, none. Hangers on. Loot. In order to get loot, you need to hold the field. Oh. Really? Boo! Boo! I get nothing. Mind you, that's fair enough. We did get slaughtered. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look at all these lovely items you can get. Oh, look at all these lovely items you could get. Oh, look, we're still going through all the lovely items you could get. Yeah. After all this fight, you've led your victory. Three degrees of blah, 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 That is it. So after all of that, my group got bashed and battered. We've lost Dedrick. He's deed. I only killed one of the barbarians. So that means it has not gone well. Has not got, we've got three people that, he, that are in the healing. I might be able to bring them back earlier if I do visits to the medical uh, healers etc in the village but the threats haven't gone down at all so that's not good wow so that just means I'm gonna have to wait and see what happens for next time but that is the start of the campaign I'm gonna be running I'm gonna be running I'm gonna be playing Four, five leagues from the borderlands and i'll tell you what i really enjoyed that i enjoyed that immensely really immensely that was a lot of fun um hope you enjoyed it too and i'm sure that if you've played it you're gonna go oh you did this rule wrong you did that rule wrong guess what don't care if i've missed a few rules it happens because it's the first time I've played it and we all miss rules. We don't need some smart ass going, yeah, you did that wrong. Meh, meh, meh. Apart from that, I've bought the game now, so therefore it's mine and I can play it how I damn well want. Only kidding. If you've noticed something that I did do wrong, if you want to let me know, let me know. I'll ignore you. But, you know, you've vented your little anger, which is good because better out than in. Um, things you can do to help out the channel. Lots of things. You can go buy your toys from Ashdown Gaming. That'd be nice for them. Um, you can become a Patreon where you get to see each month a new video that other people don't get to see. You could do other bits and pieces, but more importantly, you know, get in contact if you want to say hello and everything. Leave comments below, uh, that sort of thing. And if you only do one thing and one thing only in your little life, like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe. You don't like it and don't want to subscribe. You don't have to like and subscribe. I would like it if you liked and subscribed. And until next time, stay hammered.